we headed to the billboard right now. I have like I haven't seen it in person yet, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. Really, really ready to see you know what it's looking like in person, and you know I'm, I'm really excited right now, especially seeing SMU and Oak Cliff on the same presence together. Like it means a lot to me because a lot of people that's around SMU don't even know like what Oak Cliff is, you know, and it's a real special place to me because that's where I'm from. That's where you know I grew up at. You know, I think that it's a big culture shift, just not not just with my billboard and Oak Cliff, but with all ours. And you know, you know, I think it's a brilliant idea, and it's a way to get the entire Dallas involved. You know, with SMU, so that SMU can become, you know, and be really known as Dallas's college team. The Oak Cliff part means so much because you know it could easily be like Pony of Dallas, but that. Saying Pony up Oak Cliff, I mean, it means a lot to me. I know that it means a lot to a lot of people. It's really big for me, for like kids in my neighborhood, for my neighborhood to see, you know, that, you know, being from our neighborhood, like you can go and be and do something positive, especially in your own city, you know, like doing something big. Like this is really big to me beyond football. That's clean. That is not. <laughs> That's my family. They can't see it, they can see it. This one is crazy. We pick time now, baby. We pick time now. We pick time now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are short. It's a, man. It got you over big time, baby. Oh, 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 oh. My favorite part right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This your first time? It's nice, ain't it? Mm -hmm. It's real nice. This is Sprague, so kind of, you know, this is kind of basically where all Kimball football games is. Um, they renamed the stadium to James Jones Stadium um, a, a few years back to honor a coach who was at Kimball for the longest. He was actually the first black head coach at Kimball and won a lot of games at Kimball. Um, but I had a lot of memories. I've been playing there since I was in middle school. It gave me chills all the time, you know, coming back here. You know, sometimes I just need to come back home a little bit and remember where I came from, but it's pretty much, you know, this shit right here. You know, being at Kimball is just always just a different feeling because a lot of um, a lot of who I am came from me, you know, being at Kimball, going to Kimball. You know, I love being at Kimball. They just give me a different feeling. If you're from, like, the Oak Cliff area, if you're from, like, the Dallas area, everybody knows who James Jones is. Like, he's, uh, he's impacted a lot of people's lives over the years. You know, this is a like a little, a little memory of, of his legacy and what he meant to, you know, to Kimball. You know, everybody who played for Kimball knows like his, his chant, uh, you know, something that's always gonna be passed down through Kimball history. And I still, you know, before games, I, I just recited to myself because it means a lot and it's, you know, it's still in my heart. You know, this field, like I said, this field means a lot to me, means a lot to Kimball, means a lot to this community, to this area. When people think about SMU, they think about the bubble, the Holland Park. And I knew when I went to school, I wanted SMU to be a part of Dallas as a whole, you know, like especially my community, Oak Cliff, like where, where I come from. I wanted to be a great representation. You know, I didn't want to be like stereotypical, go to school and fill out or go to school and not succeed or not be successful. And so it means a lot just, you know, every time I put that jersey on because because it can be a, a big representation of Dallas team. So the band be like right here, and then like we sing the school song out on the field, and I remember like the entire school song. Uh, huh? No. I don't, I don't know like word for word, but I, like if somebody was to play the song, like we are the nice from Kimball High, forever striving to be true. Our school colors we bear with pride. 
All honor to the scarlet and the blue. All glory then to Kimball. May we always stand the test. And we bear on our shield the motto. We always seek the best. So we sing that after the games. We ain't no lose. <laughs> Uh, and then we come like, this is where we come, like we see our families. So we'll come like that way through here. Um, like our families and stuff will be waiting right here. Um, then we walk that way. That's why I was trying to get this through their gate. We walk that way to, back to the school, so. Yeah, this. This one was my first lock. It was three. And it's so crazy because my SMU locker is number three. That's crazy. So this locker is number three. But yeah, this is my first locker <clears throat> that I had. Then it was this locker. This is my locker that like I finished with. And like they got locks on them. That's crazy. Like we didn't have locks on our lockers. You know what I'm saying? Like it was this is it. You know, these little shacks. So made it work though. The, one of the best moments I've ever had in this locker room. I mean, we always like just had fun. Like, it was like tears in this locker room, funny moments, but I think like one of the best times was probably like summer workout, like freshman year, sophomore year. And my junior year, we didn't have like AC in here. Like, it was no AC in the weight room, so summertime is always smoking hot. It was just like moments like that. It made me appreciate things like, you know, having like a good facility to work out in now. You know, and I love like him because like I said, it, it made me like realize how much that I have now, you know, and how little you can have and still make do, you know, like, you know, not taking anything for granted, you know, just little things like air conditioning during workouts, you know what I'm saying? And so at the moments, it didn't seem good. <laughs> like we was pat, like dying in here. You know, it, it gave like they're just that tough mentality, you know, just not just through football, but life in general. You just more, you know, you appreciate a lot of things, you know. You appreciate just, you know, the moments, you know, even though it's tough moments, it's, it's uh, you know, hot, mo hot moments. Um, but you appreciate just, you know, the, like the brotherhood, you know. Like my Kimball teammates from my freshman year all the way to my senior year, like I'll never forget them. Like because, you know, they pushed me to be who I am on the football field. And, I, you know, I appreciate them still to this day, you know, because, you know, they helped me get to where I am now. And I still love those guys. I always want to show like the kids in my neighborhood and just kids in general, like that there's other options than the streets, than drugs, than, you know, fast money ways, like go get your education. You don't have to be confined to your neighborhood. You don't have to be confined to what people tell you that you want to be. They can still uh, be something great. And I just like, you know, just like tell them that they can be greater than what they really think they can be. Because a lot of kids really think that Oak Cliff is it. I'm not where I want to be yet, you know what I'm saying? But I'm striving to, to like higher places and I want them to know that, child, that they can do it no matter the circumstances that they come from. You know, I think that's the biggest thing is being willing to learn and willing to, to, to grow. You know, and I think I was willing to grow and I knew I, I needed SME really to kind of change my life.